So there are two questions within the community that the Bleach fandom repeatedly ask when it comes to our main character Ichigo Kurosaki, more specifically about his Bankai. Now I've actively avoided these questions because just like the Kampachi Zaraki and his Bankai, there is always new information to be addressed. But I feel like this recent information about Ichigo is video worthy because it at least gives us one of these two questions that the community keeps asking. Number one, why is Ichigo still in his single sword state? And number two, what were the abilities of Ichigo's Bankai that you are Bark feared so much. So, if you like what you hear today, please click on that like button and subscribe for more interesting Bleach content on the way. Today, we will be looking into why is Ichigo's sword still within a single sword state and what does it mean? Kubo released a statement on this, and while the translation is a bit fluffy to say the least, we can grasp a good idea on what was spoken about. Kubo elaborated that, I haven't described this in detail, and I don't intend to describe it any further, so I'll answer. This of course tells me that this will be saved on the back burner for another time when it's right. This could be saved for an anime extra content, movie or even further plot points in the manga if it decides to continue further than it did recently. Kubo's answer to this question about Ichigo being in a single sword state is as follows. Although this hasn't been touched upon in detail, since I don't plan on expanding upon this topic any further, I'm going to answer your question here. The duel Zongetsu is made up of the blade and the scabbard. The correct form of a zanpakuto is one that includes a scabbard, and there are only two blades without one. Sayafushi, Namaya Oetsu's, and Zongetsu, Ichigo Kurosaki's. The dual blade state fixes Zongetsu into its correct form, while its bankai state provides the scabbard. And what was seen after it shattered is the true Zongetsu. The shattered scabbard was absorbed by Ichigo, so if he wanted, he could split it back into two, but I guess that really depends on Ichigo himself. And after reading this, I think I speak for everyone when I say, Thank you, Kubo. Thank you for confusing the fuck out of us and creating more questions and answers. But it's okay, because I'm here and I will try my best. Every blade in Bleach has a scabbard except for the ones mentioned above. That goes for even Kampachi. And yes, I double checked. And I suppose if you wanted to kind of negate that, you could use Yachiru in the argument too, if you so wish. But yes, this is in fact true. Every Zonpokuto has one. That's the easy part. We are told that when Ichigo is in his Shikai form, or dual bladed form, that he is holding a scabbard and a sword. My assumption here is that it is in fact his hollow and quincy powers for the long sword that's actually a scabbard based from that one panel against UR Bark. Of course, unless he used the Quincy powers to wake up Hollow Wichigo, I don't really know, but bear with me fellas. By that, I'm going to assume that the short sword is that of his Soul Reaper or Shinigami power. When it comes to Ichigo's Bankai, these elements are combined creating a unity or a one, a sword and its sheath. So when this Bankai is unsheathed, you get a true Sangetsu. Well, what happened when Yuar Bark shattered the white scabbard? Ichigo absorbed those pieces back into himself. Let me explain. Namaya is the creator, or the forger of all Shinigami swords. Namaya made a scabbard for Zongetsu by using parts of Ichigo's soul, forging it to its correct form. A Zonpokuto with a scabbard, as all things should be. Ichigo's true Bankai is formed by fusing Zongetsu with its scabbard. Realistically, it's that simple. I think what confuses people is why he's appearing with a single blade and what his abilities are. Well, we'll have to pause on the abilities for now as we don't really know that information as it hasn't really been released. But hopefully it coincides with the sword's design. The statement is that Ichigo for now chooses to keep his sword as one rather than two, but he can choose to use two if he pleases. I don't really know what benefit that truly would create for him, but again, when it comes to abilities, we're pretty much limited for that information. This, however, seems to be the only case for the Shikai, so I imagine two swords would be stronger than one as they aren't fused in Shikai? Question mark? But then again, it's in its big cleaver form in the Hell Chapters. So maybe let's talk about that. However, I would like to make a case for the theory. We don't know what Ichigo's base is, or if he even has one in the first place. It would be more apparent if he did an Energy Beam or a Getsuga, as 9 out of 10 times base swords don't really have or have used abilities. From memory, that is. Not without Kido, anyway. I wouldn't rule out that if Ichigo does have a base sword, then it is the cleaver form itself. Remember, swords aren't required to change its shape. Vice versa, Byakia, Yamamoto, and Toshiro don't change their sword design when releasing Shikai and Bankai. 
We also see a chain with Ichigo's new Bankai, which looks nothing like Ichigo's iconic red sword strap as a holder, as well as the Bankai lacking a cloth on its handle. It's possible that this could be its constant base form, then when he wants to go in Shikai, he can bring out the sheath for a dual world and then merge them together for his Bankai. But before I end this video, people still have this misconception that Ichigo lost his powers to Juha Bark in their fight. But remember, Ichigo regained those powers because one, not only are they connected to his spirit internally, just like Ginjo tried to take them in the Fullbring, but Tsukushima created a new past via a memory ability that UR Bark didn't see because this past was made after UR Bark looked ahead, which gave Orihime the ability to reverse power from that past that UR never took from Ichigo. But that's just time travel stuff, you know? It does make sense when you read it, trust me. But the point was, yes, Ichigo has his abilities back. Besides, realistically, we know little with what Ichigo's his new sword can do, just like Ichigo himself. He had his sword forged and then jumped straight into battle. He was learning as he was fighting. And with 10 years under his belt now, technically 12, if you add the new Hell chapter, chances are he's learnt a few new tricks about himself and his abilities. So, it really is what it is. I also highly doubt Ichigo is going to use Bankai in the world of the living, you know, the place that if a captain were to go there casually, would disrupt the area around them. You know, that's why they need limiters attached to them before they go to the world of the living. Unless Ichigo knows how to casually suppress himself that much, I don't see him personally inconsistent Pankai form, you know? But that's all I have for now. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. Of course, you guys have this fine day been handsomed. And as always, people, peace out.